Welcome to this week's edition of FPK Campus Gist. I am Ibrahim Daniel Auta. According to the World Health Organization WHO, substance and drugs abuse is now a major health challenge all over the world. Globally, the harmful use of alcohol alone has been estimated to result in 3.3 million deaths each year, and at least 15.3 million persons worldwide have been documented to be suffering from drug use disorders. This week, a survey on drug misuse was administered on some selected FBK students. When you see someone who abuses drugs, most of them easily get lost. You just see them, they will just stand and start looking into empty spaces. And some of them look tattered, they look confused, at times they look tired, sometimes they even faint. So it's very, very easy to know them. Here in the Nick, in Federal University of Nick, there are not too much students taking that drug away, but there are some taking it. But it's not that rampant. How do you think you just use students? Uh, in FUBK, there's, I guess, there's not much cases of drug abuse, but you never can tell. But we can also reduce it by conducting seminars to enlighten students on the effects of drug abuse in youth. Medical and psychological support that could be given to a drug addict should include, like, the addict should be given um, support or he or she should visit a professional medical personnel for proper rehabilitation. He or she, like if the case is already getting out of hand, it can visit a psychiatric home for proper counseling. The reason why most youth engage in drug abuse, one of the main reasons is that um, due to peer group, some students once they find themselves uh, among a bad peer, they do initiate them into drug abuse and also poverty. Sometimes some students are being maybe being depressed, so. From there, they might end up maybe taking some drugs to maybe ca keep them calm. So from there, they engage in drug abuse. And secondly, I also say it affects yeah, his body system, his, his respiratory organs, his lungs, his breathing system and everything. And most of those people might want to engage in criminal activities. National Association of Political Science Students, NAPS, set to commence departmental election. Part of the electoral process is the screening of aspirants. The because, uh, we've been here since 10 o'clock and the process is slow. And we are much here and some of us didn't eat while coming and uh, we've been standing here without our seats and as you know it will cause some inconveniences to us. Okay, so, uh, so during your tenure... Uh, to be fair enough, in terms of the leader criteria, these are the criteria that have been presented by the election committee. So, clearly, one of CDPA, I think, is something that must be part of the criteria. But it's not just about you coming out. Academically, you have to be strong. These are universities. So, academic has to be part of the contest for a president. So, I think it's fair to me with the criteria. President of State Association in FBK met to discuss on uniting state associations in the university. The convener of the forum, Nasir Mohammed, who is also the president of National Association of Ninja State Students, NANES, charged presidents of all associations to make unity their priority. Let me just say in summary, uh, the aim of establishing Council of State President of Forum is for us to have unity among ourselves and to have a single entity or an umbrella where the interests of all the students from various states and federal universities are united in protected. But it's not something that we can do on our own individually as individual states. So there's need for us to come together to form a stronger body where this interest of the student can be well protected. So this is the main aim of our establishing Council of State. Um, they would like to join this council. Because I believe the state, the step has been met. Because uh, this establishment of our Council of our State Forum, uh, by the time we are able to achieve it, or we legally have the registration of work on the management, that is the deanery, yeah. and uh, most of the uh, uh, what is it called goals that we have, that we have set to achieve, by the time we begin to implement them, and other state associations that have not yet registered, and uh, they were able to see these uh, goals being implemented, and 
and they see it very well uh, structured. I believe they'll be motivated to create their own state and uh, they'll also get. The holy month of Ramadan is a month where Muslim faithful observe an obligatory 29th or 30 days fast. At the end of the fast, it is expected that those who have enough share their meal with others to break their fast. This act is called Iftar. Muslim brothers and sisters, is, let's use this month in praying for this uh, nation. Prophet Muhammad said in one of their hadiths that when it is time, there are stages or places where prayers are accepted. One happened this uh, very particular month when you are breaking fast. After breaking fast, any prayer you did at that moment is accepted. message to all the girls and females in FUBK campus is that they should dress modestly and read Quran frequently, do their askar always, and maintain good behavior everywhere you are. Thank you. Fanaya Christian Student of Nigerian Fellowship of Evangelical Students, NIFES, expresses their joy in thanks to Almighty God for seeing them through their final year of study. It's been an effort because it's not easy from under level to final year. And being in FM final year is a great privilege from God. So I feel glad, I feel great being an FM. It has been God's grace. It has not been that all that easy, but I know God. With this blessed blessing, you actually sustain us to this time because by manly doing, by my flesh, I cannot prevail. But God, with this infinite mercy and this love of our lives, will make us pass through and will make us conquer all. That will be all for this week. For real time and verified campus news, you can visit our blog at fbkcampuspress.com.ng. You can follow us on our social media handles. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Ibrahim Dalna Outa. Catch you next week.